assalamu alaikum grade 8 chapter number 6 gradient of a straight line in grade 7 we already about read about the gradient in grade 7 we read that gradient is equal to rise over run so what is the rise rise mean vertical change vertical change is known as the rise and the horizontal change is known as the run in this straight line c the vertical change is coming from this position to this position okay and horizontal change from here to here they take okay they take this change from here and horizontal change they take from this point to this point so run is this and rise is this according to this we have to find some values from the exercise 6a they are saying find the gradient of the line passing through each of the following pairs of points okay in grade 7 we just read that gradient is equal to rise over run and rise mean vertical change and run mean horizontal change and we directly take the values from the graph but here they are not giving us the graph they give us the points so when the you don't have the graph you have the points simply you will follow at the rise place you you have two values of y so from y2 you will subtract y1 and run from two value x2 minus x1 mean this will be rise vertical change this will be run horizontal change okay now look at this question in a part they give us that this is the first and this is the second chain okay so we will give it the name of x1 y1 and this second one is x2 y2 this is the first value this is the second value so according to the formula what is the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so values we will put what is the value of y2 1 what is the value of y1 0 what is the value of x2 minus 2 and x1 0 so it is equal to 1 over minus 2 okay then here again this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 gradient <coughs> is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so y2 is 7 y1 is minus 3 x2 is 1 and y x uh, 1 is equal to 2 okay so 7 minus minus plus 3 over 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 so it is equal to 10 over minus 1 so you can say it is equal to minus 10 because the denominator one we are not writing this question this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 okay so gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so 8 y2 is 8 minus y1 is 4 x2 minus 5 and x1 is minus 2 so it is equal to 8 minus 4 4 5 minus 5 minus minus plus 2 it is equal to 4 over minus 3 so you can say minus 4 over 3 uh, question number one D E and F you will do by yourself. <laughs> 